What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Now I have an awesome video for you guys because this is a mini pencil collection that my mom picked up for me for Easter. And I've taken a few peeks at it, but I haven't really got a chance to go through everything. So this has a mix of new and vintage pencils. So I'm going to just open it right now. And we'll go through it together. Okay, ready guys? So there's, oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Oh, I already see some amazing things in here. Oh my god. Okay, well, um, I'll start with these pencils here. Here's a uh, Blackwing pencil. Uh, it's one of the uh, Blackwing volumes, and it's a Palomino Blackwing 155. And these are also really nice. Um, I like these a lot, so definitely a really good pencil to have, which I haven't really kept up with the Blackwing volumes. But here we have another one. It's a Palomino Blackwing Volume 10. And I also like the design of this quite a bit, so it's a really awesome pencil to have in my collection. All right, now just kind of skimming through here, we have this pencil. Um, it's a boy, Mark Whitten Gibb, June 29th, 1958, Norman and Ruth. This must be some sort of advertisement pencil, which explains why it is has a round body. Ooh, I've been eyeing this one. Oh, wow. Um, I've seen these, that uh, people reviewing them, but I've never, ever seen one in person. These are the Palomino Golden Bear Jumbo Pencils. And this is a round diameter pencil. And it definitely is jumbo. So that is absolutely amazing. Which I am just absolutely blown away by your guys' generosity. So that is, again, absolutely insane. So thank you. Um, and then we have Eberhard Faber Jeans, Germany. It's interesting. EFA. Oh, guys, this one I've been looking at forever. Oh, my God. Lead Fast, 19, patented 1927. Made in USA, Dixon Ticonderoga, 1395, number two. Look at the ferrule on that, guys. Isn't that really interesting? So, it kind of has an eraser here, and then it has, like, two little flaps. Yeah, that's absolutely insane. So, thank you so much. Um, um, this one might... Oh, I still can't tell. This one is one of the ones with an eraser on it. I can't I exactly identify what this is. Hmm. That's interesting. It might be a Baron Fig pencil now that I'm thinking about it. Because Baron Fig makes these, um, this type of, uh, variety. So this actually might be a Baron Fig pencil, which R might be Richard Best. I'm not absolutely sure, but it might be Baron Fig. And this one is like the, uh, Camel pencils where it has an eraser instead of a ferrule and then an eraser. Here's one. It's a uh, made in Germany, Naturfeerfer, Naturlifer, Eberhard Faber, two two five. Again, what an amazing pencil to have in my collection. That is, that's pretty nice. And I'll be testing all of these pencils out. Here's one, Herrick Hild. Eberhard Faber, 01250, number 4. I'm assuming this is some sort of drawing pencil, and one thing that's unfortunate is that it has kind of like a crack through the wood. But, still, I, I'm not really, have a, I don't really care. I absolutely love it. Now, here is my favorite pencil that I've ever had and my favorite pencil of all time. This is the uh, Eberhard Faber Mongol 42 number 4. I actually had a full box of these, 
um, which I can't remember exactly where these ones went, but I definitely did have a box of these before, and they are amazing pencils. Um, I just gotta say that these are just incredibly smooth and incredibly good, so I, I'm definitely thankful, um, because these are amazing. Um, and here's a Crayola pencil. Magenta. I, l I like vintage Crayolas. They work really well, so that is awesome. Here's one. Wallace's Excellence White. Hmm. This is definitely a coloring pencil. Um, I'm not exactly sure... Um where this was from, but it looks pretty cool, so Wallace, this one I've been eyeing too, ooh, another Eberhard Faber, Decoro, made in Germany, 2490 number 2, so this again looks absolutely stunning, um, yeah, absolutely. Um, and here, whoa, guys, made in Germany, EFA, Eberhard Faber, Marmor. Wow, guys, look, look at the pattern on this pencil. It's stunning. Absolutely amazing. All right, that's stunning. All right, now I believe this one is also an advertising pencil. Uh, C... CB Red, Kleinstite, 113S Duke Street, New York. It's odd. Still, though, it's another... Now we have a bunch of these pencils here, which are, I believe, are microtomic. This might be a whole set, actually. These are all, like... Wow. Wow. Oh my god, wow. Well, um, we have quite an array. So we have here 4H, Microtomic, Eberhard Faber. That's like a whole set. Um, here's an unsharpened Eberhard Faber, Microtomic 6B. Another 6B unsharpened, Microtomic. Uh, 6B again. 6B. 6B, 6B, and that is thick, man. That is super thick. That is such a, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, 6B again, and 4H. This is a Van Dyke one, too. That's amazing. All right, now we have some left. Uh, here's, oh, yeah, classic. Dixon Ticonderoga, that is uh, absolute classic. Love that. Uh, now we have some of these, which I believe... They're from Eagle. These are actually Eagle Turquoise, which I have some, but I don't have this many now. Wow. So they're all HB. They all have the ridged end caps, which are also pretty cool. Love that. Here's another. Um, Eberhard Faber Rally. Never heard of this type. I'm guessing it's um, kind of like a drawing pencil. I'm assuming these are all drawing for drawing. This one has been interesting. Wow. Van Dyke Eberhard Faber 600. That's cool. This one's odd. Eberhard Faber Schleicherfer. This must be a coloring pencil. So, that one's awesome. And then this one, Van Dyke. Weatherproof. Never heard of th never heard of this. It must be a copying pencil. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, so it has it's not graphite, it's sort some sort of indelible copying. So 
that's awesome. So you can tell by the lead, it's so, some sort of copying pencil. So, yeah. And then I have this whole box to go through. So, and then these are uh, from Eagle, I believe. Or no, Barrel. So, these are Barrel Very Thin Carmine Red, which I've grown to know and love these pencils. Um, they're Barrel uh, 745. So, these are, these are awesome as well. Uh, this one, Tattoo. Um, I actually have a version of this pencil, except it's kind of metallic blue. Now I have one that's metallic silver. So that's awesome. Then this last one, Eberhard Faber Mongol Coloring Orange. It's definitely interesting. Yeah, there's a, definitely an interesting array of pencils in here. And then we have a uh, Eagle Hexo Pink eraser from Eagle. Wow. That's nice. So I am absolutely blown away by all of the these um, pencils. And I am extremely happy that I um, got these for... I mean, this is just for Easter. Um, a lot of the, these two pencils, these black wings, don't even fit in here. And I am just absolutely blown away by these. Yeah, so uh, we have kind of like a mini set here. We have Eagle Turquoise. Yeah, we have a whole bunch here. Then we have a whole bunch of these Microtomics, which are a little bit older by Eberhard Faber. And then we have, these are all the four that I think are pretty modern, but I definitely am not complaining. And then these two uh, are pretty cool. These are classics. Alright, now we have this mysterious box, which... Hmm. I'll try to open this with one hand. Oh, this must be... Oh, these are all carmine red. Wow. Wow, this is a full pet box of Barrel Very Thin Eagle Colored Pencils. Carmine red. Wow, guys. Barrel Very Thin Eagle Colored Pencils. It says, uh, says it on both sides. And on the side, Pencil Makers Association, made in USA by Barrel, USA Division of Barrel Corporation, Denver, Connecticut. And then it has the patent number on the side. So, yeah, we got a full box of Carmine Red Barrel Very Thin pencils. Which, again, I'm extremely happy. And this eraser is also pretty intriguing here. Eagle. Yeah, so it is eagle. It feels pretty smooth, actually. It doesn't feel all hard like most of the old erasers usually would be. Yeah, Eagle 480. Hexo pink. I'm guessing it's, it's not so pink anymore, but probably at one time it was extremely, extremely pink. So... Just get a better look at this. Yep. So, I this is a awesome collection. Um, I'm very happy to go through it. Um, my mom won't tell me the listing, but I can imagine that it is a pretty good listing. So, these pencils are very intriguing, and I've definitely learned a lot from these. I knew these Golden Bear pencils existed. I just never actually have bought and have, have bought any. So it's nice to own one, just to, to have. This probably will go in my p jumbo pencil cup. So, and then the Black Wings, of course, will um, go in their separate little thing here. 
I have a little container that I put one of every Blackwing that I own in. Um, of course, except for vintage ones. But now I can just add these there. Which I... I love this one a lot. Um, 155. That's pretty, a real pretty amazing pencil. And it even has like a matte black ferrule to it. Which is awesome. This one is pretty cool too. It has a, a silver ferrule. Blackwing Volume 10. Which I definitely feel like I should have kept up with the Blackwing Volumes. But it was pretty expensive for the whole thing. So, um, I guess next we'll be testing these out. Now I have a, uh, I have a little piece of paper here, which I'm probably going to test these out on. Um, yeah, so. So. I'm going to put all these over here, and I'm going to test each one of them. Well, the ones that are sharpened, at least. Yeah, what, what, amazing, what an amazing collection. A lot of these pencils I haven't even heard of before. So, I'll start out with these. Um, I'll start out with this Crayola. Vintage Crayolas are... Uh, Extremely pigmented. So I can add these to my uh, vintage colored pencil collection. Now we have the uh, Dixon Ticonderoga here. Somewhat vintage. This paper isn't too great, so I shouldn't probably shouldn't press hard on this. But, yeah. The eraser, I'm not going to use this just because I probably, it's, I'm 100% sure that this won't work. But it is a pretty amazing piece of history. So, yeah, and it's pretty thick too, like look at that. So, uh, so this box, I'm just going to keep everything in the box because I have some Carmine pencils out that I can show you. Alright, so here are the four um, sort of modern pencils. You have Palomino. Um, if you didn't know, the Golden, Pear, Golden Bear brand is owned by Palomino. Originally owned by California Republic, but um, they changed it to Palomino. They Pen uh, actually, Pencil.com is the original makers of the Palomino Blackwing today. Um, they bought the rights to uh, the Blackwing pencil, and Palomino took over. And then they made these, the Palomino Blackwings. Originally, they were made by uh, Eberhard Faber, but you won't see many of those out in uh, pencil cups today, mainly because they're extremely rare and they go for a ton I saw, once saw one uh, Eberhard Faber Blackwing pencil go for $90 per pencil. And a whole pack was like $600. So these go, those go for big, big money. But I surprisingly, with all the pencils in my collection, I don't own one. Which, it's one of my uh, goals to save up to buy one. Or even a whole box at one point. So, that's one of my goals to buy one, but, yeah, it has a, uh, this Golden Bear has a, uh, smooth lacquer, and it says USA, um, the Palomino pencils are made in the USA, Palomino Golden Bear number two, it's round, and it's jumbo, and it has the, uh, classic Golden Bear eraser and, um, ferrule. This is actually the color of Golden Bear I prefer. I'm not a big fan of the uh, blue with orange eraser one. I prefer the orange with blue eraser. So that's perfect, actually. And then this one, the uh, Palomino Blackwing 155. 
which has kind of a cool shape design here. You can see there's a blue circle, a red square, kind of some line design here. Um, I think this was um, made after some artist. I forgot his name, but I'm pretty sure it was named after some artist um, that's pretty famous. But it has a uh, matte black ferrule, a uh, classic blackwing ferrule with a yellow eraser, which is different um, than most blackwings. And then this one, which I'm kind of confused on. I don't know when they released this one. But it's a, a Palomino Blackwing Volume 10. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I don't even know which kind of graphite this is because if you, if any of you are hard Blackwing collectors out there, they know you know that um, Blackwing Palomino has made different kinds of graphite in the Blackwing pencils. So, there you go. And then this one, which I still can't find a brand on. I mean, this is probably the closest moniker to a uh, brand, uh, R number three. This is the kind of like the camel pencil design where there's no actual ferrule, as opposed to like the Blackwing or the Dixon Ticonderoga. It's just an eraser placed on top. So that's kind of interesting. Um, now I'm going to test out, um, some of these in the actual box here. So, first I'll test out this 4H Microtomic, uh, which is a, uh, Van Dyke pencil. Very light. I feel like I'm going to rip the paper with this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, none of the 6Bs are actually sharpened. But put those over there. Let's try out this one. I'm curious to see which, how this one writes. Apparently it's from 1958, so yeah, that's dark. Any pencil from the 50s is going to be exceptionally smooth. So, let's see how the eraser works. Decent. Not too great, because... It's vintage, so. Surprisingly, it works surprisingly well from 1958, so. Uh, let's try this Ticonderoga next. I'm, this is probably one of my favorites out of the whole lot. Yep, Leadfast. Apparently, this is from 1927. Made in the USA, Dixon Ticonderoga, 1395, number 2. I'm not going to use the eraser, because it's pretty much all gone on that, but... Let's test this out. This is number two. Number. It's pretty dark, too. And, of course, you guys know how the Mongol writes. Exceptionally smooth. Well, this one's a number four, so it's not exactly the smoothest pencil ever, but even for number four, it's still pretty smooth. Well, this one's a little scratchy just because the point is extremely fine on this. Alright, now this one's unsharpened. Let's try out this one. I'm curious to see what these ones write. How? Uh, it doesn't have a grade on here either. Let's try this one, the Van Dyke. Pretty weird. That one's kind of weird, actually. Pretty nice. This one's really nice, too. Decoro. Yeah, that one's really smooth. This one's nice, too. I'm surprised that these are all Eberhard Faber. At first, I thought this one was Faber Castell. Or A.W. Faber, as they would call it back in the day. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This one's extremely hard, guys. Oh, shoot. Oh, anyway, sorry. Oh, my God.
This what? What's wrong with this pencil? That is like the lightest grade of pencil ever, and it's the scratchiest pencil ever. Still. And then the Wallace, the uh, tattoo pencil. I hope I don't get demonetized for that. Van Dyke with a uh, odd looking cap. Some sort of copying pencil, weatherproof. And I'm curious to see what this uh, Mongol orange color pencil is, how it writes at least. And then this one's a, a white. This one's also extremely scratchy. Wow. That's really scratchy. But it's still a really good pencil. All these pencils are high quality. Now I'm just gonna kind try to kinda get them all situated so I can get a good thumbnail. This one I want to get a really good thumbnail for because these are all magnificent pencils. Okay, I'm going to finish this quick because I've already took a long time on this video. Okay, I'm going to pause when I get the thumbnail ready. I'll be back. Alright guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, this was an amazing box of pencils. Um... I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.